Hey guys, sorry for the mess. Uh, I've been tinkering today again and I uh, have a couple of things to show you. Uh, this is the primary splitting uh, circuit slash uh, Tate circuit. Uh, we have here a 13 volt uh, uh, what do you call it? A savings lamp. And there we have a 12 volt car bulb, 55 watts, and this one is 13 watts. Uh, we have a small spark gap there. We're not using it at this moment, but we'll do it later to make the 6 to 55 volt bulb work. We have a multimeter here, and also here a kilowatt. So what we're going to show now is that we, uh, when we turn on the system, we have uh, 1200 volts, and also there's nothing showing on the watt meter. No load for the grid. Okay, and now we're going to turn on the the light bulb. You see it's going down to 505 uh, volts now. And also the multimeter is showing a load. So we're having power here but not loading the mains. What we're going to do now is uh, Change this over to the other 55 watt bulb and then uh, show you uh, what's, what's happening. Okay guys, we're back again. As you can see, I've connected uh, the 12 volt 55 uh, watt lamp. Let's, uh, let's try to turn it on. Like everything, you always have to remove the load before turning it on. As you can see, if we don't have a spark gap, we don't have enough energy to, to light the bulb. But when we create a spark gap, then we create enough energy to turn the light on. And multimeter isn't regi registering anything. I think the voltages of the spikes are so high that it doesn't register it. But as you can see, the spark gaps that makes the amps. Okay guys, enjoy building, I hope this was uh, of any meeting to you, bye bye.